I'm fine. Good. That makes one of us. Because I was thinking, chaperoning these events, it can't be that much fun for you. It's all right. It's, it's a little... Uh... Boring and ridiculous. I mean, how do you do it? Being in high school all day, dealing with this solipsistic bullshit. God, teenagers are idiots. I mean it. It's true. People say it because it's true. And the confusing thing is, is that physically, I mean, they look like adults. So, I mean, the 17-year-old's body, it's, it's gorgeous. So if you don't think about it too hard, you can convince yourself that they're like... But then you really start talking to them, and it's like... Yeah. yeah. Um, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe I should go find my friends. Yeah. Thank you for the... Thank you. Erica! Erica! Can I speak with you, please? I wanted to find out if you're... Okay. Now, I don't want to pry, but if you need someone to talk to, I'm available, you know, or I can recommend someone. No, I thank you. I don't think that a therapist is really what I need right now. Listen, Erica. I mean, it's really nice of you to take an interest, though. It's just, it's really, it's, it's complicated. It is. Yeah, it is. Um, maybe you've noticed that I've been acting a little strange lately, a little unlike myself, but, and uh, that would be because I'm not, I'm not really myself. You're not. No. This is gonna make me sound crazy. But the truth is, is that I'm from the future. Wow, that sounds even more crazy out loud than it does in my head. Erica. Look, I'm a 32-year-old woman, and I'm stuck inside a 16-year-old body, and I know that you're not going to believe me, but I'm telling you anyways, because you you seem nice and normal, and my age. Actually, you're probably a little bit younger. Uh, you don't believe me, right? Of course you don't believe me. I'm just going to forget it. Ignore me is... I want to help you. The only way that you could help me is if you believe me, and I know that that's impossible. But the really unbelievable thing is, is that I screwed it up again. God, I'm such an idiot. And now you're standing here thinking, crazy girl, just walk naked through the formal. Actually, you know, I was thinking that you did what you had to do to get your friend the help that she needed. And under the circumstances, I wouldn't say that that's crazy. I'd say that that's brave. I know you've had a difficult night. You have no idea. And I know that some of the students are probably going to talk. It's the story of my life. God, it's really cold. Why don't we go inside and we can talk and I'll call your parents and they can come and pick you up, okay? Uh, I'm just going to get home. Just I'm really exhausted. And it's, it's time for me to go home.